Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted to make this short video on my Sterling guitar again, but this is really not about the Sterling guitar. This is what I think is the best non-locking tremolo system ever that anybody's ever come up with because you got a regular regular nut down here, no no locking. This is like a strap bridge, strap bridge, but it's got the two the two mount or whatever, but it's pretty much basically just a strap bridge. But I think the key to this uh, tremolo system is on this guitar is the locking tuners. Those locking tuners are really simple to put your string on. Just pull the string through there, crank it down, tune it up, trim it, good to go. But this tremolo system is just really accurate. Once I've put my strings on and get it in tune, I hardly ever have to mess with this. Mess with the tuning, no matter how much I use the bar. But one thing, yeah, I'm telling you all this because if you want, if you have a Strat guitar or, or any kind of other guitar that doesn't have a Floyd Rose, it's not cut. You know, in order to have the Floyd, you got to have it rooted right. But if it's just going to be rooted for a regular tremolo or whatever, you might try doing the same thing that Starling has done here with the lock. Get just get yourself a good set of locking tuners. And I don't necessarily think that you have to have the two mount here, but I would say kind of leave your screws loose a little bit so you'll be able to float back and forth. But the weirdest thing that I find very unique but very helpful is the way that Sterling installed the springs. When I first saw this, I first thought, you know, what in the world? I thought I needed to change it, but you know, it works. So if it works, it works so you might want to try this but that little configuration right there I'm not sure exactly why they do it but like I say it works going using just the first three claws right there all the way over to here right to the middle right there you yeah, know it looks funky because I've always I've always just put them like one on each, one over here on the very on both ends and one in the middle or all the way across I've never seen it done like that but it seems to work like I say I can use this one <laughs> perfect tuning <laughs> so anyway I hope that might have helped y'all if you're thinking about just using your non-locking tremolo get yourself a good set of locking tuners and I think that's a graphite nut so but if you don't want to change the nut just put a little 3m1 oil in there or maybe some pencil lead whatever and uh, try setting your strength springs up like that <laughs> But I think mainly if you get yourself a really good set of locking tuners and have your intonation and everything set up really good, you shouldn't have any problem with it. So uh, what I'd like to do is somebody do that, give it a try, and let me know in the comments if it worked or not. And I'm going to do that to my other, my white guitar that I just built with the scallop neck. I'm going to redo it. I've got some uh, locking tuners on order for it, and I'm going to try that with that and see if that works anyway if you like this video give it a like and if you want to subscribe to my channel go ahead and do that as well but anyway thanks for watching <laughs>